Yes, Marco Julie, hi. Hi everyone, I'm Alicia. Um, I am Clorinda Campania's granddaughter, for anyone who knows who that is. Sorry, I'm short. Um, so we are part of Good Shepherd Cure Blazers, and um, I'm here uh, presenting cranes to my uncle, Marco, and my aunt, Julie. Um, and sorry, it's hard for me to, to talk about it, but um, I'm gonna have Marco talk a little bit about um, his experience, so. Hi, my name is Marco Campagna. I'm Julie Campagna. This is all a little bit new to us. Relay for Life is not new to us. We've been a member of the Cure Blazers for a lot of years with team captain Clorinda Campagna, my mother right there. She'll be 91 in October. She's come a long way through her own medical struggles uh, but this is um, not new to relay but certainly new to the experience that myself and my wife have recently discovered and for for me end of May beginning of June after going through tests trying to figure out was, what was happening with me, we realized that, I don't know, I was just harboring this thing in my abdomen and I, we're just trying to usher it along, trying not to be a good host to it. It took about five weeks to figure out what it was exactly. And during that time, my, my wife uh, was amazing, still amazing through the process. And she said, as soon as we had a hint that something was going on, she said, we're in this together and we're gonna get through it together. On the day that they identified what was happening for me, the doctors confirmed that Julie had her own cancer diagnosis that she was dealing with. So I guess she's a soothsayer in recognizing that we were truly doing this together. You would think that being members of Relay for Life for so many years would Maybe it helps you build up some immunity. It doesn't. Right, Paul? And others? But what it does help you do is it helps you build up a lot of love and support. Perspective. We didn't need perspective. We already had perspective on what's important in life. But it just magnifies that uh, quite a bit. I was processing what was happening with a friend of mine early on when we were trying to figure out what was going on with me and I told him, you know, I started writing my eulogy and he said that's a little premature and that was good advice. But what we processed through that conversation was what was really important. Things like keeping your life simple, keeping the people that you love close to you, focusing on only those things that matter and truly staying positive not in a way that doesn't recognize the magnitude of what i'm going through and what my wife is going through and the surgeries and other treatments that are in our near future but being realistic about that and staying positive about that throughout the whole time i wanted to read a quote that that friend sent to me and this is from vice admiral and aviator from the u.s navy who spent seven years as a prisoner of war in vietnam and he said this about having faith staying positive but being realistic and because of who he is i think that his words have more cachet than anything that i could have said or others as, as well and he says you must never confuse faith that you will prevail in the end, which you can never afford to lose, with the discipline to confront the most brutal facts of your current reality, whatever they may be. 
I want to say um, something about irony here because I have one of my students and another other St. Francis students here, um, Ari. Uh, she's learning for the first time that her teacher, I was with her all year this year, is up here receiving cranes with his wife because of our recent di diagnoses that she and her organization actually made. one more thing. I told Alicia I'd keep it brief. I'm going to say one more thing. I have this bracelet that somebody gave me. Well, my sister and brother-in-law gave this to me for Christmas, and it has this area where I can inscribe something. And, I, and before this, I was going to inscribe something lame, like awesome, or the best dad ever, or something like that. And I already have known that what I'm going to inscribe here is gratitude because that's how we're living our life and just being able to accept everybody's love and support and being thankful for it through the process. I'm going to invite all the crane recipients to stand out in front with their crane and the presenter uh, to have their photo taken. And um, I also want to mention the, the, um, the photos. So we have today a good friend of ours, um, Greg and Susan Whited. Greg is going to be the one with the camera, and there he is right in front. And Susan has been here recording. Uh, 